You break the rules and become a hero. I do it and I become the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness moments. For this list, we're looking at the best lines, sequences, and scenes in the MCU's first horror film. If you haven't had a chance to check out this Sam Raimi flick, beware, major spoilers ahead. What was your favorite Multiverse of Madness moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Gargantos Comes for America The MCU's New York City has seen its fair share of otherworldly beings, but when Gargantos shows up to capture America Chavez, even Doctor Strange is taken aback. At first, the squid monster is invisible, which is pretty terrifying itself. But then Strange works his magic and reveals the enormous one-eyed creature causing all this destruction. <laughs> Strange and Wong defeat Gargantos, saving the young multiverse-hopping heroine. We find out later that it was trying to get its tentacles on America at the behest of the Scarlet Witch. Who's this? Yeah, I was gonna ask the same question. Hey, kid. What did that creature want with you? And this is just the beginning of their magical and monster-filled journey. Giant monsters I can clearly handle, but what bothers me is that last night you were in my dream. That wasn't a dream. It was another universe. Number 9. Strange Gets a Third Eye Using the Darkhold comes with consequences, something Stephen Strange already knew. The Darkhold exacts a heavy toll. But fans were still shocked when Strange collapsed while walking down the street, screaming as an eye manifested on his forehead. <laughs> Just like Sinister Strange, this seems to be the price he has to pay for dreamwalking and possessing a deceased variant, even though he did so with good intentions, saving America Chavez's life. Even strange, possessing a dead body is forbidden. However, in a mid credit scene, Strange seems more comfortable sporting his third eye, so maybe he's cool with it? Unless you're afraid. Not in the least. Number 8. Falling Through the Multiverse after America opens a portal, she and Strange fall through a series of alternate dimensions, ranging from a bee-dominated world to an oceanic one. It's a beautifully trippy sequence that provides just a taste of all the bizarre worlds out there. Both Strange and America may be multiversal pros, but nothing could have prepared them for this disorienting tumble. They briefly come across a skeletal hell, a land of dinosaurs, and various futuristic landscapes. The two even experience dimensions that change their physicality, including transforming them into brightly colored splashes of paint. It is truly a wild ride. You okay? Number 7. Doctor Strange vs. Sinister Strange when two Stranges go head-to-head -head on screen, there is a world of possibilities in terms of how they could fight. But Sam Raimi wanted to give audiences something we haven't seen before. With the help of his longtime collaborator Danny Elfman, Raimi created an epic musical battle. Strange vs. Sinister Strange became Beethoven vs. Bach, with the two sorcerers launching literal musical notes at each other. They go back and forth, one-upping the other with larger, more powerful notes, making for a jaw-dropping melodic duel. It's as funny as it is inventive. This is the first time we've seen musical notes used as weapons, and we hope it's not the last. Number 6. Dreamwalking Wandas as we saw in WandaVision, Wanda's immense grief has led her down a path of questionable decisions. She lost her parents, her twin brother, the love of her life, and now her children. We shouldn't be surprised that she's reached her ultimate breaking point. After Wong and Doctor Strange foiled her attempts to capture America Chavez, Wanda, in full-on Scarlet Witch mode, dreamwalks in another dimension. A dreamwalking sorcerer projects their own consciousness from their universe into another, possessing the body of an alternate self. 
Raimi employs a horror-style voyeuristic view of this reality where Wanda gets to be with Billy and Tommy. Mom? Yes, sweetheart? Where are you going? Her time here is cut short, but on Mount Wandagore, she possesses the body of her Earth-838 counterpart and wreaks havoc in that universe. Number 5. Charles Enters Wanda's Mind when a possessed Wanda Maximoff brings her chaos magic to the Baxter Foundation, most members of the Illuminati throw down with her before she gets past the lobby. Obviously, they do not survive the altercation. Enough! But never one to give up on a troubled soul. Charles tries to save the Earth-838 version of Wanda from the psychic grip of her villainous variant. Wanda Maximoff, your mind is being held hostage by your alternate self. While he's in her mind, however, Scarlet Witch violently kills the telepath, tearing his face in half, simultaneously ending his physical existence. Among the many jump scares in the film, this is undeniably one of the film's most memorable and disturbing moments. Do not make me regret this. I won't. Okay, can we go now? Number 4. The Scarlet Witch Attacks the Comertage in her pursuit of America Chavez's powers, Wanda, or rather the Scarlet Witch, comes to the Camartage ready to fight. But I do hope you understand that even now, what's about to happen? This is me being reasonable. The sorcerers manage to hold their own with an impenetrable shield. That is, until the Scarlet Witch appears to one weak willed sorcerer advising him to run. Run. This breaks down their defenses, allowing the powerful witch to lay waste to the sacred temple and most of its defenders. This is the moment when Strange realized just how far she would go to get what she wanted. Well, he can't say she didn't warn him. Then it won't be Wanda who comes for her. It will be the Scarlet Witch. Number 3. Meeting the Illuminati when Earth-616's Stephen Strange was brought before the Illuminati, fans were treated to some long-awaited cameos. Anyone familiar with the MCU series What If will remember Hayley Atwell's Captain Carter. Captain Carter, First Avenger. We also see Lashana Lynch's Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel in place of her BFF Carol Danvers. Anson Mount reprises his role as Black Bolt, which he played on ABC's Inhumans. And our prayers were finally answered when John Krasinski was revealed to be the Fantastic Four's Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, after years of fan casting. I'm the smartest man alive, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Hello, Stephen. But of course, the return of Patrick Stewart as Professor Charles Xavier was the icing on the Illuminati cake. Though Marvel fans were expecting some of these cameos, the ultimate reveal was still exciting. Professor Charles Xavier. Number 2. Zombie Defender Strange What if showed us zombified Marvel characters, but Multiverse of Madness actually brought one to the big screen? Doctor Strange uses the Darkhold to dreamwalk and possess another version of himself, who just so happens to be dead and buried. Okay, but doesn't a version of you need to live in that universe? so that you can dreamwalk into them. Who said they had to be living? But that doesn't seem to slow down the deceased Defender, and the rotting corpse heads to Mount Wandagore. Cloaked in a horrifying horde of damned souls, zombie Defender Strange unleashes the demonic phantoms on the Scarlet Witch to save America. Dreamwalking, you hypocrite! This time it's gonna take more than killing me to kill me. Sam Raimi was definitely in his element when it came to Zombie Strange, giving us major Army of Darkness and Drag Me to Hell vibes. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The opening chase, a trippy beginning to a trippy flick. You can't let it take your power. Get to the book. How do I get across? Jump! Wanda escapes the mirror dimension. Strange's attempt to trap the powerful witch fails spectacularly. Bruce Campbell cameo. Sam Raimi's callback to the Evil Dead. 
<laughs> it's over! The sorceress Clea arrives. Strange gets a surprise visit, and we get a surprise Charlize Theron cameo. Dr. Strange? Can I help you? You caused an incursion, and we're gonna fix it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Wanda Kills the Illuminati In what is possibly the most brutal takedown in MCU history, a possessed alternate Wanda Maximoff pays a visit to the Illuminati. Despite Doctor Strange's warnings, the heroes approach the chaos magic-wielding witch, severely underestimating her. Please. I have children of my own. I understand your pain. Is their mother still alive? Yes. Good. There will be someone left to raise them. One by one, she destroys her adversaries, serving some killer lines in the process. Black Bolt could destroy you with one whisper from his mouth. What mouth? After removing Black Bolt's mouth and shredding Mr. Fantastic, Wanda turns her attention to the heroines as they give it their all. Haven't you had enough? Oh, I could do this all day. Captain Carter is bisected with her own shield while Captain Marvel gets crushed underneath a giant statue. Wanda then kills Professor X while he's in her mind. The sequence is surprisingly violent for an MCU movie, and all the more shocking since the Illuminati was just introduced moments before. They're not coming back, and you just cast your vote now to kill your friends. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.